It was a, a performance and the result like Saturday, just what you need going into such a big game this week. Yeah, I think um, the, the performance for me merited three points. You know, and the chances created at Ibrox, 14 shots on target and, and their goalkeeper being man of the match, I think says everything about the performance. But at the end of the day, we only got a point. You know, so it, it makes Wednesday night's game a, a big important game for us. How much have you been hammering home then the positive? Or how much will you sorry be hammering home the positives in the, the coming days? Oh, listen, we, it's we, we've got a certain style that we want to play to now. Um, and I know Pedro said afterwards that we were difficult to play against, and we were aggressive, and we won a lot of second balls. I also think we played a lot of good football. You know, so we we have to keep reiterating that that's what we want to do. Showing you know the, the drive and desire that we showed Saturday and in the previous three games as well. You know, and, and the results will pick up. Given everything that's at stake in the league table at the moment, how much importance would you would you place on this? How big a game is this one? It's a big game, of course. You know, it's still only three points involved in it. You know, I'm I'm well aware of the the local rivalries and you know how important it is to our fans to give them a little bit of cheer and, and the bragging rights. You know, that's that's extremely important to us. But it, it's three points. Um, we we're going all out to make sure we get them. You know, but there's a lot more points to play for as well. Psychologically, though, would it be a would it be a bit of an issue to be leapfrogged at this point in the season with the split looming? Listen, psychologically, of course. You know, the more games you can win, the more confidence there is in the group of players, and they believe in what you're doing. But you know, we go into the game full of confidence. We've we've had two performances against you know third and fourth, or sorry, fourth and fifth in the league, where we've we've dominated large parts of the game and should have come out with a lot more points than we had. So it's definitely not a lack of confidence or lack of belief. We just need to keep doing what we're doing and, and you know, hopefully put that performance again Wednesday night. Granted, it's been before your time as well, but and I know you were pleased with this at Johnston performance, but results at home have been not so great of late. Is, is, that, a, you know, is that anything that's inside the players' heads? Is it just one of these things? I've only had one game at home, so you know, I can't... I can't speak about that. I don't. I don't believe there is. I think the performance against St. Johnson showed that there wasn't a fear factor. You know um, what I've seen. The fans got right behind them on the, on the Saturday at the St. Johnson game. You know, so we ask the same again. But the players have to give the fans something to get behind. You know, and, and what happened previously. I, I don't know what you know whether the performance has merited that. I don't know. But where you know we all have to stick in together. We'll we'll give them someone that you know if players are running and giving absolutely everything and the passion and desire that I've requested, then the fans will get behind them. I've no doubt about that. You mentioned the comments there from the Rangers manager before Saturday's game. Did they annoy you in an aspect? No, not at all. Um, you, know, you know, Pedro's a good guy. I, you know, I had a good chat with him, a lot of time for him. Um, he made comments, he thought we'd come back and play one up front. It would be similar to how Hamilton played the previous week. And, you know, we had no intention of that. It did make me smile because we worked all week on, on leaving three up front and, and breaking on them. And, you know, I think that worked well. They, they had to change their... Their shape and have to change personnel to try and combat us. So I think that showed the level of a performance. Does that suit you that if teams have a sort of misconception about you? It means you can sort of spring up a couple of surprises, please. Yeah, um, listen, it's up to them how they they rate us or how they see us. You know, we've we we you know do our due diligence on them and we we look at ways we can break them down and we look at ways where we can be positive. And I think that's the only way to be. If you play on the front foot and and you're positive, then a lot of things go in your favour. As much as you're taking the positives from Saturday's result, Aki's got a, sort of, they got a big morale boost the weekend as well. I mean, does that, you know, how do you think that changes the dynamic of this, this game? Is? I don't think it changes the dynamics of, of our game. Certainly it was a it was a bonus for them to get the three points in the last minute. You know, they've, they've done that and, you know, I don't think it affects this game at all. Everybody knows what's at stake. We know the positions both clubs are in and, you know, we, we'll be well prepared for it. You know, we've got a, a few knocks and niggles that we're waiting on. So our team selection will probably be a last minute job. But, um, or how we want to play and the intensity we want to play out won't change. In terms of the experience you've got in your dressing room, you know, so there's a, the guys on the playoffs a couple of years ago, how much of an added bonus is that to you in terms of seeing out that's running and make sure that you, you guys won't stuff up in that sense? But I, I think experience is, you know, you can't buy that. You know, it's, you know, well, even the boys that aren't in the team, you know, Keith Lasley hasn't been in the team, but he's been a great help around the place as well. And, you know, just giving that confidence to the, the players going to Rangers in front of 50,000 people, you know, and the pressure situation and that we find ourselves in now probably for the next load of games, you know, they're, they're vital to it. But I, I think the young players have stepped up as well. You know, Elliot Freer and, and Chris Cotton for me were outstanding on, on Saturday and give us a real impetus going forward. So I think they're just as important, believe me. How's Louis Moult after the weekend? Maldi will be, be someone we have to assess on a last minute basis on, on Wednesday. You know, obviously we're we're desperate for him to be fit. Um, you know, we're we're hopeful, but that'll be a last minute decision. Any other announcements? Is it, well, obviously um, Tate's you know on his way back again. So again, we'll look at him Wednesday. Um, got a few, a few other little niggles. You know, Jacob Blythe as well has got a little niggle, but well, hopefully he'll be fit. So um, 
as I say, we'll assess that tomorrow morning and then make final decisions on Wednesday morning. What is Way's problem? He's just got a slight bang on his ankle. You know, it won't be a, a long-term situation. You know, if the game Wednesday comes too too soon from hopefully Saturday, will be will be fine.